Hello, my shopties. The stream is insanely scuffed. I know what the, 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 what the transition just did. I saw it. I saw what just happened. Um, sorry, scuff stream right now. I came in late. Uh, I'm really shaken up. Um, so while I get Streamlabs open to change the poll, cause I, I was gonna do that when I went live, like just shortly after I went live. And then shit happened. So I didn't get to do that. I didn't even get to get the rest of my drinks. I'm... I am so fucked right now. Um... Mmm, I am not in a good place. Um, good thing we're playing Hyperlight today. Cause, uh... <laughs> I... Okay. I have very few phobias. Alright? I'm gonna put that out there. I have very few phobias. And... When I have a, a phobic response to something, it's usually a very mild phobic response. It's usually not something that is, um, I gotta turn down the rip saw a bit. It's usually not something that's very, um, very, uh, difficult to handle, you know? It's usually very simple fix. All I gotta do is just kind of do deep breaths. And then it kind of like, Settles, you know? Well, um, not today, apparently. Um, today is the day where th this week is the week where just everything goes wrong. So, uh, for anybody that doesn't know, I get like a bunch of drinks for, you know, stream and stuff, and, and I bring them in, and I had a pitcher. I have two pitchers of Gatorade water because I, I drink Gatorade to help with hydration, to bring back electrolytes because I burn through them very easily um, due to my pots and I need more of them to regulate my um, my stuff. Um, oh, the moon won the pole on Solar Ash yesterday. Not yesterday, two days ago. That's pretty cool. Um, and uh, let's just start this poll. Okay. Um, I'm sorry. I'm so scattered. I'm trying to get everything still set up. It's super scuffed. I know. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Um, I'm having a bad time right now. Like, I'm having a really rough time. Um, there. Okay. Everything is... Set up now. Um, there. Okay, so <clears throat> here's here's what happened. I have two pitchers of liquid. Okay, uh, blue Gatorade and red Gatorade. I am not sampling the red Gatorade today. I probably won't sample the red Gatorade this batch because of what just happened. I know these bugs are clean bugs, but like I'm not. <laughs> no. What what happened? 
was I have these pictures and they are, they have, they're circular pictures. They're not squared or like kind of squared with a round. No, they're just circular pictures. Um, the same type of pictures that like, I don't know, your auntie would make Kool-Aid out of. And I, they have these little plastic lids, right? And it makes them easy to clean, easy to dust. In fact, they're all plastic. They're all heat resistant plastic, which makes them super easy to clean. And they're sealed up so that way no microplastics get into your shit and yada 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 all that whole stuff the same material as tupperware um as like tupperware and, and stuff like that also i don't like the tupperware company so i always buy off brand just a note um anyway uh, besides the point um made from the same heat resistant plastic right the same durable heat resistant plastic that doesn't melt or do anything well um the thing is uh a bug got into the house. I don't know where they keep coming from. There's so many of them, and I don't know where they keep coming from. And I, I find well, at least one every day, and every time it scares me a little more. The other day, it was in my fucking fruit bowl. It wasn't eating anything. It was just hiding under the fruit. And I don't know why. Um. So that, that happened, and... I kill them every time because they just shouldn't be in here. They just sh should not be here. And I don't like to kill bugs, but like I kill them every time because they just should not be here. And fucking this one thought that the, because the picture has an open side and a close and like two open sides and then closed sides. And you can kind of twist it around and, and one open side is kind of like divity, so that way you can have more control over the pour. But if you need to pour like a huge, huge glass of something, you got like a fully open side, right? Well, uh, it also helps because like you're, you're also meant to make tea in it. And so if you have like lemons or tea bags in there, the more divided side will prevent those from slipping out into the cups. Um, so the pitcher was closed. We keep them closed out of habit just to be safe. We keep them closed. And, um... The bug decided that was the best place to sit. Now I pour out of the dividend side, okay? So I thank God because I turned the lid and I'm sure if I had put it open to the fully open side, it would have just fell in the water. Problem solved, but also really disgusting. I did not do that. And I turned it open to the dividend side and it just crawls out flops onto the counter, and I actually audibly screamed. Meanwhile, my cat's sitting up on the counter above me, staring, doesn't do shit, doesn't save me from the situation, and I'm literally letting out little, like, <gasps> cries as I run out of the kitchen, grab two Crocs, not crap Crocs, and I start chucking it at this bug, and I eventually hit it. But I'm standing there, and I'm in such terror that it's still alive. That I don't... I, could, I had to go get manager Leon to go get it. <laughs> and, and actually throw it outside. I... It... Pretty sure... It uh, was a ju... Like, manager Leon was like, Oh, I'm pretty sure it's just a juvenile millipede or centipede. Mmm... I don't care. I don't like it. Because, like, I don't mind actual full-grown centipedes or millipedes. I think they're cool. I do mind any bug, though, that looks like silverfish. And if you know nothing about silverfish, they have these little two little, like, tails, right? This thing had the two tails. Now, it's too big to be a silverfish. It's too dark to be a silverfish. But it, it damn looked close enough, and that was enough for me. It triggered my fight or flight, and I just, mm-mm, 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 couldn't can't do it nope so i'm having a great time a great time right now um we're gonna play hyper light <laughs> hi everybody we're playing hyper light drifter today um i just needed to talk about that because i am fucked up and they could be silverfish because i've only ever seen them in the kitchen and the bathroom which is water i haven't seen them outside of there so they really could be silverfish. I have not seen them in any way in any other part of the house in the tomb. So, and those happen to be the wettest parts of the house. So I genuinely would not be surprised 
if they were silverfish. Sekem, stop playing with the bags. I'm not even gonna stop you. I'm too mad at you. Um. So yeah, that got me fucked up. Um. I gotta check to make sure I posted the post everywhere. Ugh, so messed up. I'm. I'm having a breakdown. I'm sorry. Give me a minute. <laughs> And then we'll get to, uh, to playing and all that jazz. I am not okay. Um. <sighs> okay, I posted there. Um. Mm. Okay. What? I can't play right now. I've got, unfortunately. No, I can't. I can't. I can't play right now, Sekem. I can't. I'm live. No. You could have played with the silverfish. And you did not. You did no such thing. Here, I'll pet you. All right. Okay. I'm okay. I'm recollecting. I'm I'm back, and we are playing Hyperlight. So I got all the offline. I got all the um collectibles. So that's pretty good. Um. But now we're gonna try and actually, you know. Do one of the challenges today, that's the goal. Uh, that's kind of the aim today, is to get one of the challenges done. And then after that, we'll be able to start a uh, new game. Uh, new game ult. Wait, what's that? Okay. So he traveled out there. And saw the remnants of the war. Um. Met a traveler. And helped them. And then they got... No, they found loot. That's what happened. And then they got attacked by the wolves. Um, how about you? Alright. You were infected with the disease. You tried to destroy the immortal cell. And you were swallowed up. And you haven't been able to do it. Now you're- Oh, you're the one that runs this place, I believe. Okay. Oh, boy. Uh, I believe I have the one enabled that is, like, dashing faster. Oh, I'm so fucked up. Okay. Hi, Sekim. Alright, time for some challenges. Oh, well, alright then. Immediate. There we go. Yikes, though. I got hit hard. Oh! Damn. Alright. I deserve that, I guess. <laughs> okay, let's try that again.
Nice. Ah. <sighs> Oh shit! <laughs> I didn't realize I hit the one guy. Um, I thought the, the one guy was still alive. So if you hadn't noticed, these are all like eastbound monsters. Oh wait, I have. Okay. Halfway through. We're making pretty good progress already. All right, two more. Ah! Got so close. Okay. I'll need to check something. I'm gonna see if I can get some information on the um, outfits again. There's a snail. Oh. I feel so out of it now. I was like, oh, this stream's gonna be great. I'm gonna play Hyperlight Drifter and out. Oh, everything feels like it's going wrong. Oh boy. I am not, I am not feeling it today. I am not all here right now. Okay. Um. I need something that recharges the bomb faster or that 
makes sword strikes faster. That's what I need right now. So I gotta remember which outfit is which. So I'm just looking it up. Honestly. So that feels like a smart decision. Okay. Let's see here. Outfits. Okay, so the blue one is time between Flashes. Um, come on, let me see which one the fuchsia one is. Please. Oh my gosh, it's so slow. For what? Let me see which one the fuchsia is. Health using a med kit. I feel like Fuchsia is speed of which your ammo recharges from melee attacks. So blue feels like the best choice here. Because it's the sword slash ones. Oh, that's also really pretty. Oh yeah, that's really fast. Um Okay. I think that's fine. That's fine, I think. Um <clears throat> I believe Guardians the pink one is like stamina. Which is nice. I do like I do like Stamina. Oh, I picked the wrong sword. It's this one. I do like... Like, it just restores instantly. Which is very nice, I will say. But at the same time, I'm like... Mm, we'll try the sword slash. We'll try the faster sword slash and... See how that plays out for us. Because if that works out well, then... There we go. Although for the... Because there's one round for every um, area. So there's four of these that I have to do. Um, in the east, I don't dodge much. I do do rebound attacks, but like I don't dodge much. Like I send projectiles back a lot, but I don't dodge really. So it might be smart to just do the hack and slash method and then the south it feels like you know i use the bombs a lot there because there's just so many enemies so the south i might switch to the bombs and then the north i i use the gun a lot so i might make it the ammo recharge one i have no idea what i do in the west i just kind of wing it. The west is a a bit more of a pain. Oh, we're starting off real strong with this one. Oh, whoa! I just rebounded all of that. Cool. On the floor. Oh, I, that was all me. Ah, 
Oh, I... That was stupid. I should have been able to dodge that and I didn't. Like a dumbass. Uh, yeah, I should have seen that coming. I got greedy. I got, I wanted to rush through that like a fool, but that's okay. That run didn't feel right either. I've gotten so far. I've got so close. Oh my God. Oh my God. Where did you come from? You just absolutely wrecked me. Oh, no. Hey, yo. Hey. Ooh. Ha. Okay. All right. I see you in the chat. Hold on. I'm getting my ass kicked. <laughs> Wait. Ha. Ah, come out. Thank you. All right. Cappy Cap, hi! Yes, we're playing Hyper Light. It's an older game, uh, but it's actually my favorite game of all time. So I, I've been playing it on stream a lot because I wanted to to show off how how much it means to me. Cause it's, and also to celebrate the fact that Hyper Light Breaker is coming out um, in this fall. So that's pretty exciting. Um, I like Heart Machines games, period. Like, they're all really good. Um, like, we're playing Solar Ash on Wednesdays, which is another Heart Machine game in the same universe. Um, it's really pretty. I like I like games like this. Uh, also, it's very uh, special to me because it helped me to cope with my uh, chronic illness and my realization of chronic illness. So it's very important to me. It means a lot to me. A comfort game. But also, I get my shit rocked when I play. I'm not... not oh my god. <laughs> Why, why was my aim such ass? Come here. Yeah. Mwah. Frog boy. Uh, I'm kind of uh, off center today. Like, I'm not... I don't uh, feel all there. Because I got... I had, like, a panic attack before stream. Because of a uh, bug. <laughs> so, I, I encountered a, my least favorite kind of bug. Which are the millipede wannabes. And I am not doing too hot so my brain's not all in it today oh hey yo yeah but welcome welcome to the chat welcome to the stream it's lovely to have you thank you for stopping by i appreciate it hey yo hey yo oh shit oh whoa what happened there Yeah, I'm familiar with the chronic illness issues, and hopefully the panic attack faded quickly. It's going away. I'm working on it. <laughs> I talked about it for like the first half hour of stream, and I was like, <laughs> which means you literally just, who, oh! Oh, man. I'm getting my shit rocked. Why am I, like, so bad today? Holy crap. <sighs> but yeah, the anxiety is mostly gone. I'm very happy about that. I feel a lot better. Um, but... I'd be lying if I said I was all here, so. But here's hoping that stream will cheer me up. All right. Okay. Oh, we're almost there. Oh. But yeah, come for game. Even though it drives me. Why do I keep getting you guys? No, 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 no. <laughs> shit, shit. 
This is just Dodge Simulator. Oh God. Who? Oh, no, not. I have. Ah, so close. Ah, so close. Damn. Okay. It's all right. It's all right. I was, I was so close. I so close and yet so far. Um. <laughs> yeah, just a failure all around. Um, that's okay. Uh. Okay. Had a drink of water. <sighs> oh, oh, again? Huh. I need to get better at chain dashing. Why, hello, Jay. Welcome to the stream. It's lovely having you here. We're I'm getting my ass kicked um, in Hyperlight. Hey, hey. Oh. <laughs> yeah, happens being off your Yeah, pretty much. Like, I've played this game no less than, like, eight or nine times. And I'm... I am not. <laughs> I don't know why I'm not in, like, peak performance right now. I was, like, hyped up, too. Like, I practiced for this. And I'm just not... Not doing great. My goal, though, is to finish, like, this challenge area and then the uh, west challenge area. Those are my goals. If I can get the north and the south, that'll be a huge win in my book. But, like, I'm not rooting for it. This is my goal this stream, though. Like, this is my primary goal is getting at least one done. But if I get two or three or four, then all the better. I'm, I'm on... Okay, I'm on uh, wave five. So... I'm doing pretty well for only having taken one damage. Oh, and here's where things start to go wrong. All right. Oh. I still got a bomb, so that's good. Which one's going to have the... Nice! Oh, okay. I just, like, let that hit me. <laughs> Alright. Come here. Alright, wave seven! And we still have four medkits. And I've only taken two damage. This might be it. Oh, if I don't... Oh, no! no! Ah! <laughs> oh, I tried to dodge away and it wouldn't let me dodge me. Oh, this seems like it's going to be it. Me gets cornered. Damn, I gotta... All right. <laughs> I got so close. <laughs> Oh. Poor little blue. No! Oh my gosh. It's the amount of times I've dashed off ledges. It's not even funny anymore. Unless I can make a comeback, this is not it, folks. 
This is not it, unless I can make a comeback. Like, no way. All these frogs why am i getting only frogs i got nothing else just no oops all frogs i almost walked into the other bullet <laughs> Can I not dash off the side, please? Uh, if I dash off the side of the arena one more time, I'm gonna McFucking lose it. All right, come on. No more medkits because I kept dashing off of the edge like a buffoon. Oh, hello, Kasha. Welcome. Welcome to the stream. I, I'm getting my ass kicked. Um, don't mind. Uh, I'm in the gauntlet. Unfortunately. Which, uh, nobody who hasn't played this game knows what that is. But, like, it's... It's a problem. <laughs> Okay. I mean, yeah. Yeah, I guess so. You could say that. Okay. Okay, come here. Oh, I'm doing pretty good. I'm doing pretty good this time. Knock on wood. Aggressive knock on wood because I don't want to jeopardize this one. Okay. Got the big boys out of the way. Are you the only one left? Oh, shit. 
knocks aggressively. <laughs> yeah, no, that's the vibe right now. All right. All right, I got one down. All right, now would be a good time to heal because this is where enemies start getting a little bit more aggressive with me. Oh, damn, too close. There. Ah! <laughs> this is the run. Totally not trying to drink it. I see you. There is a, a posture check in there, I think. Oh! All right. <laughs> Thank goodness for the dash shield. I swear I'd be lost right now without it. Oh, we're so close. We're so close. I'm almost back out where I started. If I could clear this run, I'll be back out where I left off with my highest. Shrimp? Are you like shrimping me? You don't smell shit. <laughs> I am not shrimping. Actually, I am shrimping, but I'm like too focused to not shrimp right now. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh shit! Oh! Oh, fucking hellfire. If anybody gets the reference to fucking hellfire, let me know, because I... You are amazing if I say... If you know where that's from. Last wave! I think this is the last wave. It's either the last wave or second to last wave, I'm not fully sure. Ooh. Oh! Last one! No, actually, no, it's just go until I die. <laughs> Ugh. Okay, no, if you know what I meant when I say fucking hellfire. Um. Okay, so now it's just go until you die at that point, but we did it. We did it. We did the requirements. <laughs> All right. Um, let me see what's being said in the chat now. All right. Um. <laughs> This is the run totally not trying to jinx it. <laughs> yes, sup, lay shrimp. Yeah, I am a shrimp. Speaking of shrimp, I just recently had a really what the hell moment while looking something up. Apparently people do shrimp and coffee? What? Absolutely not. I will know. Uh, that sounds dreadful. Um, also, there was a posture check, but I gotta wait for my 
There it is. Posture check. Checking my posture. Shoulders back. Head up. Chin at level. I am in good posture now. Yay. I have been postured. Um. Okay, so I don't know which is which here. Uh, this is east. So this one has got to be either north or south. And if it's south, I'm absolutely screwed. I am not going to be able to do a good job if it's south. Uh, but if it's uh, north, I should be fine. Um, well, deserve a posture check. Yeah, pretty much. I drink coffee to fuel my caffeine addiction, not to get reminded of my terrible posture. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I would... Okay, it's the north. Alright, this is the north. This one shall be easy, as long as I don't get too many wolves. I actually don't remember this challenge that much. Get out of here. This one, I don't think it's going to be that bad because I don't remember having any issues with the majority of the enemies here. Also, this area is significantly larger than the last one. Um. Sorry, my guy. Okay, I got my four. All right, who's coming next? Oh, no. Come on. Charge at me. Yeah, that's what I thought. Hey, yo! Hey, yo! Yeah, I think somebody gifted you... I don't know how you got that emote, actually. How did you get that emote, now that I'm thinking about it? Alright. Alright. Okay, that's awesome. Yeah, you could do that. <laughs> Nobody's ever done that before, so I was like, huh? I forgot that I had that as a perk. But yeah. The reward points. Come on, you gonna charge me or what? Alrighty. Did I just fall? I did, didn't I? Why are there so many of these guys? All right, got one down. There's the other one. Oh, right. Oh, I'm doing pretty good though. Oh, 
You're right there. All right. Come on. Throw down. <laughs> this one's not too bad. This one is actually not that aggressive. It's the dogs that are getting me. Everything else is, hasn't damaged me, really. That should not have hit. All right. Not this head right here. There are so many heads that are just lying around. Okay. Last one. Final wave, guys. We got this. Okay. Oh! Oh! Ho, ho! Hell yeah! I'm not gonna make this next one. Uh, yep. But we made it. <laughs> it's so mean how they just like absolutely decimate you at the end there. Whew. All right, so I'm going to assume this one's probably south. I I'm going to guess this one's south. I mean, it's a 50/50 shot. One of these got to be south. Um I need the one, the outfit that recharges bomb. That's what I really need right now. Thank you. Thank you, Cuppy. Thank you. <laughs> That's, it was a little too difficult. Um, this game is really brutal sometimes. It's just absolutely like the one of the most, uh, uh, one of the most challenging, like extra things that I've ever done just because of the, stamina limitation it's like most games i don't have to practice much for stuff like this but this one i i i think i've beaten this challenge like four times and i still can't do it consistently so i've been playing this game since 
for three years, and I'm still not. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I can't even tell, call myself a master. I play at least, like, once a year at minimum. Sometimes more, because I just love this game. It's great. And yet, I still get fucked over by this stuff on standard. I'm on standard! I'm not even on, like, New Game Plus. I'm on standard! Um, all right. We gotta change outfits. Because for the north and the, the, the west needs, um... So that's, okay. Blue is the time between sword slashes. Uh, actually, no, that was the, um, the west is what I meant to say, not the north. Um, uh, the north is borbs. Let's see. Uh, white is decreases the time it takes to interact. Nah. Yellow is movement speed. Overall movement speed. That might be good for... The north, not for the south, but for the north that might be good. Orange is, oh, orange is the special grenade. The rate at which you, no, nah, useless. Um, black is just, just extreme deaths. It's just aggressive. Ochre is, increases your HP by one. Mm, that's actually really good. Hold on. And that's this one. This one just increases your HP as a whole, really? Oh my gosh, it does! When does it- okay, hold up. Oh, so it's just the cloak that does it. Wait, can I mix and- wait, I gotta ask a question here. Hold on. Can I, like, mix and match these abilities? Wait, oh! <gasps> Can I just mix and match these? Wait a damn second here. You don't have to have one solid set for it to work. What? Oh, you, I am. Mm -hmm. That is bullshit. That is some bullshit right there. I didn't know that. Um. Okay, well, if that's the case, I gotta... I gotta test something here. He, he's so disorganized. It is a problem. Magi, Magi, why do you look like that? Magi. Magi. If you don't know, his name is the Magician. Um, at least that's the fandom name. That's his, the name of his Steam card. Um, so everybody calls him the Magician. Um. Oh my god, it does recharge. Okay, hold, here. Um. I just gotta, I just, I just gotta see something, right? I have one extra health, which is telling me something, but the dash recharges pretty quickly. Okay. Um, as if I'm wearing Guardian's outfit, but I'm not, I'm wearing his, I'm just have a sword. So wait, what about the bomb though? Oh my gosh! It is recharge. Mm. Why didn't anyone tell me that you can mix and match these abilities? Why didn't anyone tell me? <laughs> Y'all were gonna leave me in the dark? I bet nobody knew. I don't- that wasn't even on the wiki. Like, I don't think anybody knew about that. <laughs> That's so broken though. I love- no! <laughs> Wait, no, can I go back? I don't want to do this one. Not this one. Anything but this one. Oh no, we're starting off amazingly strong. <laughs> oh no. Okay. Oh, I don't want to do this one. This is the south. I'm not good at this one. This one always fucks me up. I, it, I, the first time I did this, I spent like five hours trying to do this. Oh, 
Oh, well, you know what? I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna look a gift horse in the mouth there. Oh, I'm doing pretty good. Oh, I don't think this is gonna go well, though. I'm not keeping my hopes up. Come here. Oh, ho, ho. Uh, I, I am struggle busting. Can you tell? No, 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 don't pull, don't. Oh no, we're getting those guys. Oh no, 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 no. Oh, I'm fucked. I am over. It's the end, guys. This is the end. This is the end. This is this is the end of me. I'm not making it much farther than this because those guys came out. Oh, land right on top of me. Oh. Oh, fuck me. Oh. Oh, <laughs> no. Oh, damn. Oh, the machine gunners and the rocket launchers, those two are the ones that, like, get me every time. Okay, let's not do that one. Let's, let's do the north. I didn't mean to go to the south. <laughs> I wasn't thinking about it. I meant to go north, uh, because why the fuck would I go south first? That's stupid. <laughs> I want to save the one that's going to take me hours for last, in case I don't finish it. Oh, I got something in my eye. Uh, do you want me to grab the wrench portal from? Yeah. Oh god. Sorry, I'm focusing on this real quick. Um Yeah, I do. Just just grab them while you're there, you know? I sent you a list of stuff, by the way, that I need you to grab on your way back. Welcome, by the way, chat newbus, to the chat. I am struggle bussing. You missed what happened earlier. I had a panic attack. Oh, shit. I can't believe I'm losing to fucking birds.
Like, I can't believe birds are beating me up. I don't... <laughs> Did one just jump off? Oh, you didn't have to. Rest in peace. Oh. All right. We're getting there. We're we're over halfway there. Why are you all clumped in over here? Why are you, why were they all like hugging that one half of the arena? What was that all about? Almost there, guys. Last one. Last wave. If I do this on first try, I'm going to celebrate very loudly. We did it! I keep missing this fucking bird, thank you. Thanks. Thank you for the lurk. Thank you so much. I'm going to I'm going to read the the chat in a second. I'm just getting my ass kicked by birds. Oh, damn. I didn't pay attention. All right, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. We did it and that's what matters. <laughs> All right, let me read up. Um, okay, uh, thank you, okay, so it was just tanks saying that they were lurking, thank you so much for lurking, make sure you mute the tab, not the stream, so that way your view still counts, and I appreciate it so, so, so much, thank you, there's stuff on my glasses, I got the stuff off my glasses, but no, I appreciate it very much, lurking helps the channel so 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 much and i am always grateful to my lurkers and always welcoming to my my lurkers oh. all right last one so we got three of them 
And those are the easy ones. The, this one, though, this one is the, um, the more challenging of the four. But once we get this down, we'll be able to uh, start on New Game Plus, which is going to be very, very exciting. Um, actually, not New Game Plus. It's New Game Ult. That's what we're doing, uh, which is the other story for the game. Perfect! It just, it just, it just fell to its doom. And you know what? We can definitely support that. All right. Okay, we're getting some pretty easy enemies right now. I'm, I'm not super worried. Um, but I feel like that's gonna change. Ah, oh, there it is! Oh! Both of you! You are in the worst position you could be in right now. Me and my homies hate the machine, Dirk! Oh, God! They're so hard! Oh! Oh, the South has the worst enemies. They all have, like, really high health. And they do a fuck ton of damage. Come on. I got really lucky the one time. I'm not even gonna lie there. Okay, but I'm halfway there and I've only used half of my med kit, so I still have a chance. Grab something, something else then. <gasps> ah! Oh! I didn't see. I didn't see. I didn't see the sh the rocket guy. God damn it! I've been bamboozled. <laughs> oh, starting off strong with the rocket, the homing missile. Did you enjoy it? I'm doing okay. Oh, is it? Oh, this is my fave game. <laughs> ah! Get. Ah! 
Oh. Get out! <laughs> yeah, when he comes back, I will rely, relay info from him to you. Aw, thank you! I hope you enjoyed Spider-Verse, though. I hear that's a good movie. I haven't... Oh, all of you are just shooting me. Okay. Like, I love this game so much that I have both the physical and the digital edition, just to, like, illustrate. I have the art book. I wanted to get the, um, zine, but I, I just didn't have the ability to at the time. I might get it later! Ooh. Oh, man, I almost got taken, ta taken out by, like, a normal dirt gunner, which would have been tragic. Ugh! End. Just fall. Just go. And I'm only halfway there. Oh, that's awesome. We love when series and franchises give us writing inspiration. Oh, you. Come here. Oh. oh, okay. Alrighty. Come here, you dirk. Come here. Oh, you almost hit me. How dare you? You <laughs> little bastard. Um. Alright. I'm sorry. If I'm if I'm slow reading chat, I'm so sorry. I'm like in the middle of like a huge challenge. Oh, oh, how did I dodge that? How am I dodging this period? Come over. Oh, we're just playing ring around the rosy. It's fine. Oh my god! Ugh. Finish it faster! I can't! It's timed! <laughs> oh! Oh, thank you for killing that dirt for me. Okay, got one down. Oh my god. Okay. Two more. Two more. We can we can do it. We can do it. I believe in us. Oh. I love that the one enemies just commit friendly fire. I'm just going to let you live for a minute. I'm waiting for my bomb to recharge. So I'm just going to let him live for a minute. <laughs> yeah. You can keep trying, bud. Yep, keep going. I need my bomb for the last round. All right, now I'll challenge you. There we go. Okay, last one. We got this. Oh, 
Oh, there's two? out of my own terms there oh. Oh. and we did it all right what do we get for that more <laughs> okay all right hold on let me read up um uh I've never really owned collector's edition things or rare things apart from obscure JRPGs. That's honestly fair. I only buy, like, collector's editions when I really like a thing. Um, honestly. Or I'm going to buy that thing anyway. So, like, let's say, for example, Assassin's Creed Origins. I have the collector's edition of that just because when I went to go buy it, that's what they had. So I grabbed it. It was no more expensive or cheaper. So I just grabbed it and I was like, all right. That's it, I guess. But for Hyperlight Drifter, it... And now I have the chance to, to speak about this. It hit me in a totally different way. Um, just because of the messaging, the story, all of it. And when I got this message, because I when I got the message of the game, and when it finally dawned on me what it meant and like everything that it was about, because I played the game because it was recommended to me. And I had been meaning to play it since it came out, but had never actually played it until 2020. And when I finally got the chance to play it, it was just when I was starting to realize that I was chronically ill because I had been spending my entire life thinking that what I was going through was normal. It just had been normalized. It had been gaslighted out of me so hard that I thought that everybody's joints move around. That's just kind of how the body works. It's meant to be flexible. Everybody suffers from hypermobility. Everybody gets lightheaded when they stand up. Everybody has a craving for salt. Everybody, like, you know, struggles with getting... Everybody gets sick all the time. Like, so on and so forth. It's You're always in pain. And that's kind of like what was drilled into my head that everybody experiences that. You are no different. Like that whole situation. And then what's even worse is that when I expressed it to doctors that something felt a little weird, when I started to get suspicions, they would write me off too. And they would be like, oh, that's normal. That's fine. That's normal. And it wasn't until recently that uh, like 2020 ish that I started to realize, no, that's not normal. Because even though everybody was quarantined during 2020, nobody went out of the house. I would still get sick often like not even like somehow some bug would get to me somebody would have like vague contact with somebody who was sick and somehow it would skip over them and pass to me and it was it was i started to realize then that things were a little wrong and when i played hyperlight drifter for the first time it just hit me so hard that i sat there and i cried because it i started to realize that you know just because I am sick does not mean it's the end of the world. It doesn't mean that the world is ending. It doesn't mean my life is over. It just means things are going to change. Um, and I sat there for a moment and when I beat the game and I was like, you know, this character, uh, the magician, the drifter, he is a representation of Alex Preston, the creator. Um, it was, his story goes that he created uh, the Drifter when he was in the hospital, uh, practically on his deathbed. And the only thing he had energy to do was to draw this boy right here. And 
his story represents a character who struggled with illness and is just trying to find a cure. He's a cautionary tale, in my opinion, of, you know, always trying to fight against everything instead of accepting it. And moreover, what it looks like to throw away the love and care people have for you in search of a cure-all, in search of a delusion. And when I played that, my mindset changed from, I hate this so much, I hate everything about this, everything sucks, everything is horrible to, I'm gonna get through this and maybe things are gonna be a little harder, but at least I'll end up being happy. And so I pursued happiness instead of pursuing anger and frustration and rage. Um, so, it's just, it's one of those games, you know? That's just the, the vibe. And so that's why it's so, like, special to me. It's um, really important to me. Uh, and that's why I've been playing it on stream. Uh, so I got it as a collector's edition. I got the art book. Um, I even got a bunch of games that collabed with this one just because I, I wanted to support Heart Machine, and moreover, I also just really like seeing collabs. Collabs make me happy. Um, they just they just get, bring me joy. Uh, so, you know, uh, and when Heart Machine announced Solar Ash, oh, I immediately had it on my radar. I didn't realize it came out until like two months ago, though, and now I'm playing that on stream. And then they announced Hyper Light Breaker last month. Actually, no, in April they announced it, and I, that that was what inspired me to play this game and um and um solar ash on stream because i was like hyper light breaker's coming out that's probably gonna hit me just as much because solar ash is all about trauma hyper light drifter is all about chronic illness i i so curious to see what message heart machine has for their audience for um hyper light breaker I am going to assume, judging by the trailers, that it's probably going to be something sappy. Um, so yeah, there's that. I do have a collector's edition. I do have the little HUD, um, the little like guy that floats next to the drifter. He's on my keychain. I have like a little metal one that hangs on my keychain. Um, I have a poster from one of my favorite artists, Tonight Margin, hanging up in my hallway. Uh, of the drifter that was a sold officially through um heart machine so you know that's just kind of uh how it is that's how important this game is to me so if you're ever curious uh that's why this game is my favorite and what i mean when i say that um but yeah i don't normally play like collect collector's editions it's just that this one i had to do like i just had to so as soon as limited run games they might still be selling it i don't know though as soon as limited run games announced that they were uh selling this game as a physical copy i pre-ordered it like immediately i was like i have to get this there is no question so now i have a physical and digital the um the card though like everything is still like in the packaging i i mean i've unwrapped it and looked at everything but like i haven't taken it out <laughs> it just sits there i don't actually use the cartridge in any way shape or form um uh are you winning pharaoh yeah i am dinner i think we're having nachos anyway i am somebody yeah you are oh you redeemed first good job uh Oh no, not not the Grubhub delivery ad. Yeah, I got very surprised when I'm playing Dead Cells recently. Oh my gosh, no, the Dead Cells collab is so cute. It, it makes me vibrate with joy. Um, shout out though to the fact that uh, Dead Cells and Hyperlight, they, that was like the first Dead Cells collab was with Hyperlight Drifter. The first reference to an indie game that they, the first reference to another game that Dead Cells dropped was Hyperlight Drifter. And then it was hollow knight <laughs> and the both of those games also have uh little comics like from the fan base about um about it too and it's just it's it's really cute um oh this is just everything isn't it oh um shout out to the phantoms there's like a lot of like fandom intercross i am not very big into like chilling with 
fandoms most times because a lot of times like fandom tends to be kind of like a very toxic situation there are some fandoms where i'm like oh i love this this is cute i can vibe with this and then there are other fandoms where i'm like i don't want anything to do with this like it's just that's just how it is however the hyper light dead cells hollow knight fandoms they that intercross so hard i have not had any bad experiences with them and the art they draw is so freaking cute i cannot even handle it it is adorable anyway that that's all random tirade over <laughs> Oh, God. Come on. I don't even know what this is supposed to be. Is this just supposed to be, like, all of the above? I feel like this is just all of the above. All right. Have a good one, Cuppy. Take care of yourselves. Thank you for dropping by. I appreciate it. All right, we are making progress. Can I get out of this corner, please? And thank you. All right, there we go. Oof. I'm getting my teeth kicked in here. But I'm doing pretty, I'm doing all right. thought the attack would cancel out it did not all right well that's okay i now know what to expect here so that's at least a good thing that i kind of know what to expect in this area but i got halfway through and that's a good sign <laughs> um Hey yo, no damage. That was unfair. That was uncalled for. To put him in that early. With a limited, like, way to dodge. Oh, you're here. We're getting through.
All right. <sighs> Halfway. We still got half our med pack, so we've we've got we've got a chance. Okay. Okay, I have no health left. I have no idea how this is gonna go. This could go either really well or really bad. One. Oh, the answer's really poorly. Damn. All right, well. Once more into the breach. That was a good second run though. We are consistently doing better and better every time we come back in here, so. That's at least a good sign. There we go. We're doing better. It's a very sore day. I'm about to the tomb and I'm going to. All right, that sounds good. You don't have to make dinner as soon as you come in. But no, feel free to just chill. 
You can also just eat watermelon. We have some. All right. Okay. There we go. All right, and here's where things get to be a problem. There we go. Okay. Four more waves. Four more. Okay. All right. Oh, shit. I'm just gonna kind of like let this guy do his thing right now while I wait for my uh, bomb to recharge. Last one. Okay. Last, last round.
There it is! Uh. Oh! All right! Yes! Okay. Ah! <sighs> There it is! Hoarder! And now we've got the last outfit. Goodbye. <laughs> oh, hell yeah. Hello, snail. Goodbye, snail. Don't walk in front of me. Now allow me to just... Oh, God. Come in here. Yay! We did the thing. I'm pretty sure this just combines all the outfits together, which is nice. But we have officially completed our normal run for Hyperlight Drifter. So yeah, I'm just gonna put on the original outfit for posterity's sakes because nothing is as good as Maggie's original design IMO. <laughs> Look at him, he's a little dude. He's a little man. He's a little man that, uh, that, you know, does stuff. Look at this guy. He's a little, little blue dude. A little dude. And there it is. So, we are going to, I know it's been less than a minute. We're going to come out here and we're going to start a new game and... We're going to do new game alt because yeah, that's what my goal was today. Why do we have the HUD? What is the HUD? Why do we have the HUD? Why do we have the HUD? Also, we just wake up in bed like... Does she sit too? She does. Alright. Alrighty then. Okay, yeah, we got it. The immortal cell. Can I? Can I go? Thank you. Nah. Why do we have Maggie's HUD? <laughs> Doop. Ping. All right. Oh yeah, we know. We played through this. <laughs> Feels weird to not. <gasps> she also throws candy out. Oh, that's really funny. Um, what is her weapon upgrades though? Oh, it just alrighty then. It's the same stuff, but it's still Maggie's animation. Oh, she's not sitting at the table anymore. That's really funny. I love how far the HUD just floats. 
plot twist she's actually looking at the dog not the center <laughs> right there was a dog right there she just goes <laughs> All right. Alti simulator. <laughs> um, I gotta get the Hyperlight Drifter map open. Cause if I'm, come on, mouse, thank you. If I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do it properly. There it is. Open a new tab. So then I can just mark them off as I go instead of having to worry about it. You know what I mean? Hydration? You redeem hydration on me? Also, good job on climbing first. I almost didn't have hydration. Do you want to know what happened today, Chat Nubus? I almost canceled stream today. Not because of the storm, which has cleared up somehow. It was hailing, and yet it, now it's like sunny. The fuck? Anyway, um, very weird, but, um, here's what happened today. Uh, you know the pictures we have for Gatorade, right? Okay, so there's the, you know how you could twist the lids? And there's, like, the open squiggles, and then the one that, like, essentially filters the stuff to make sure nothing big, like tea bags or something, fall out of the pitcher. And then the big open wide um, opening, and then the sides, which are completely closed. Do you know about that? Yeah. Um, so it, the pitcher for the red Gatorade was closed, right? And I turned it to the squiggles, and then a bug crawled out of the spout, flopped onto the counter, flopped onto the floor. I screamed, ran, and then picked up crocs and chucked them. And that's why there's crocs in the kitchen. <laughs> yeah. It was a problem. I, uh... Needless to say, I am not doing good right now. Oh, she fell. She has only three health? Bitch, you weak as fuck. Holy shit. She only has three health? Are you kidding me? Oh, but she does hit a lot faster. Um, I do think it's funny. Uh, that Alti's a dog now, like retroactively, because I'm pretty sure the magician was only made blue, so that way anyone could identify with him. It's this trope that it's like, oh, he was meant to be human, but he was meant to be like an everyman kind of deal. So that way, um, nobody would feel like they, uh, they were, um, not incorporated into the story that way everybody could relate to it you know what i mean uh and then they changed it <laughs> they changed it so that he was now part of a species known as the blue and he's essentially a cat boy because the fandom asked for it <laughs> and that that kills me because now you got cat and dog <laughs> it's so great and i i live for it um, it was the same bug that was in the fruit bowl. Same bug. Yeah, spooky one I don't like. Um, could have been a, a, a silverfish because it did have the little tail bits, but I don't know. It's worth noting that we keep finding these bugs, um in places where there is water with high uh, moisture, which is why I'm starting to think it might just be really big silverfish. Um, because they often show up in places with high water because they're silverfish. Why wouldn't they? So yeah, I am not doing good. Um, I am a little uh, rough around the edges right about now. 
Um, and also trying to get this map to load. And it is uh, really having a rough time. It did not get into the Gatorade itself. If it did, it would have drowned. <laughs> Um, so yeah, because it's, it's too syrupy for silverfish. Silverfish can only swim in like normal water. The sugar would have 100% caused it a lot more problems. Um, however, the lid and the spout should be probably cleaned. Um, just, uh, as a rule. But uh, it, it it was not it was not a good time. I'm very upset, uh, and that's why like at the beginning of the stream I was struggling so hard to get my head into the the mindset of playing this game because I was doing a challenge. Like if it, if I was just playing the game right like I am right now, it would have been a totally different ball game. But it uh, that's not what was going on. I was doing a challenge. Oh boy. So, you yeah, know. Oh, ulti, ulti, ulti. Please load. Thank you. Not that close. One out. Thank you. All right, there. <clears throat> it crawled out of the spout, not out of the... the... pitcher itself. It was in the spout. It was nestled against the lid in the spout of the red one. And it crawled out because I spooked it by turning the spout, if that makes sense. Does Guardian die in this one? In this playthrough? I don't know if Guardian dies in this version. This, this in Ulti's story. I don't know if he dies only in Magis or not. Because he doesn't die if you don't talk to him. All right. <gasps> oh shit. This is this is going to be a little rough cuz I'm not good at the platforming parts of this game. Oh. Uh go. Why her health so low though? Oh no. It begins. Alrighty. Um, it did not go in the hole. No, it did not crawl out. Of, it crawl out of the basin. It crawled through the spout. So it was at the spout and it crawled out. But what are your uh, two words? I am probably gonna see if we can get an exterminator in here. Um to see if we can get rid of them because if it is a centipede or like a millipede juvenile like if that's what that was it doesn't matter they should not be here <laughs> and um it means that there's another bug species that it's it's preying off of because they don't tend to settle unless there's another bug species that it's able to uh prey off of if you have if you see a lot of centipedes or millipedes in your house by the way uh, that's what that means. It means there's another infestation of a totally different bug. And if you get rid of the bugs of uh, the that they're feeding off of, then they will just naturally leave. Like, they'll just go. They won't linger around. So if you see a lot of centipedes or millipedes, uh, that's what it means. If you see a lot of earwigs or silverfish, um, or you just see one, it means you probably have an infestation. Um, 
So, uh, yeah, not great. Not great at all. Um. Oh god, not the crystals. Oh no. There's a lot of stuff actually is where I'm gonna struggle with for her, but I'm probably just not gonna do because I don't know if I'm gonna 100% complete the ulti run. <laughs> I don't know if I'm just gonna like beat it because oh boy, she is a uh, she is something else. I don't even know if the outfits are like worthwhile in her thing. So they might not even be like worth anything, you know. Also, I keep forgetting she has a gun because her weapon's kind of long range. So I'm like. I keep forgetting that she can do that. So there's there's that too. Um, do you think she she chases after a ball when someone throws it? Do you think if the magician threw a ball for her, right? Do you think she would chase it? No, I have to. Why do I have to? Okay, I'll see about it. I'll think about it. Maybe I'll make that a point goal. I'll have to 100% ult load. Maybe I'll make that the next point goal. Because that would be funny. I think that'd be silly. Um, what do y'all need? I want to come this way, but I can't. All right, back down we go then. There's a little steppy step here. I believe this takes us to that area. Oh, I see. And then that takes us down. So where are we going to end up manifesting up? Okay, I see. Yeah, scroll up, please. Can I click and drag? Click and drag. I have a map up, so I can grab as much as I can, and it, it and I can mark it off as I go. And if I like fuck up or whatever, you won't. You're right. I won't. This <laughs> alt mode is a little bit more difficult. How about I'll do it when you do it on normal mode. Because you haven't even beaten this game. You don't get to talk. <laughs> Alright. <sighs> Alright, so now we're done here. I had to break that. She just pushes it. It's really funny. All right, there we go. Oh God, not here. <sighs> Oof. That's a uh, yikes for me. come up this way <gasps> yes well first I want to check something um, down here is a way I could go but there are other areas too I kind of want to come up here because I feel like this is normally locked off yeah it is
Get out of here. All right. I'm try I kept trying to like deflect and then I just didn't each time. And that's a problem. There's another one. Another cell grasped. All right, come up this way. Ooh. Oh, yikes. Alrighty. Why do I smell cheese grilling? Like, all right, get up, Alt. You're fine. You're fine. There's nothing wrong. You didn't die. You're cool. You're doing great. That's hilarious. It really wanted my neck, apparently. All right, let's go down. Alti. <laughs> she got caught on the wall. Did y'all see that? All right, up it goes. Nice! I need to beat up more shit. Okay. That's fine. We can do that. We can beat up more stuff. Except when I can, apparently. How did I manage to do it with her, but not with the magician? I don't know. Okay. Now I have the ability to come up here. I can't get that one. But... There is... Is there one in here? Oh my gosh, it's the one that took me forever to find in the last <laughs> playthrough. I didn't find this one, uh, which is really funny. Uh, and then I ended up finding it and got the uh, completionist <laughs> achievement. And now I just recently got the hoarder achievement, which means I've got 110% because I finished the extra DLC content on stream with you guys, because why wouldn't I? Um, and now you guys will get to see where all of the uh, gear bits are too, because, well, I guess I'm picking almost all of them up now. Almost. I don't know if I'm going to do a 100 110 percent completion for this one, but we will see. Maybe I will. Depends on when Breaker comes out, I guess. Because uh, Breaker's probably going to slot in where this, this game goes. So I'll have to see where Breaker falls. 
All right. All right. And that's all the ones we can get without the chain dash because there is one we can't get until we get the chain dash, unfortunately. Which is the next uh, thing I'm getting, in fact, because chain dash broken. Chain dash is like the best thing to get. Um, I'm gonna go through this dungeon area and then probably uh, go pick up chain dash, honestly. You shall- I don't know, it depends. I don't know if y'all have the ability to farm them points. That was interesting. Okay. So we grabbed that, which is nice. I don't have a key though, which I'm gonna need if I choose to do that. So that is a, a bit of a problem. Um, so I can't go in that way either. Unfortunate. But I can come up this way. Whew. And that takes me above ground again. All right, so I'm gonna run to grab the chain dash, I think, real quick. Oh wait, there is some um, stuff over here. Hold on. Um, oh, hello, doggo. Dog of wisdom. Dash here, dash here, dash there. Hey, yo. Another gear bit. Hey, yo, Guardian! Hi. He doesn't tell me his story? Oh, there it is. Tell me your story. Is that hair or fur? Like fur cloak. Like the fur on her cloak. The um, little tussles she's got. Can't tell if that's like her hair hair or if that's like her cloak. <laughs> Unfortunate. All right, up here we go. Oh, hello. Sorry, I wasn't looking at the chat. Um. Welcome, S. Julian. Welcome to the chat. We are playing Hyperlight Drifter. Uh, it's a game by Heart Machine. It's an indie game uh, all about uh, chronic illness and overcoming uh, the pains that come with it, the trauma that comes with it. It's a beautiful game um, made by Heart Machine and spearheaded by Alex Preston. It started as like a solo project for him and then he made like a whole game dev studio for it. Uh, I 100% recommend it. It came out in, uh, I believe 2016 with an abridged, not abridged, uh, deluxe version coming out in 2017. Uh, it's a fantastic game. It's actually my favorite game, so I cannot recommend, uh, playing it more. Uh, and also the music is beautiful thanks to Disasterpiece, um, who is very talented, just absolutely talented. So yeah. Um... 
It was pretty big though. Uh, back when it came out, it was very popular. Uh, now it's it's a little bit more uh, niche. People have kind of like forgotten about it. Um, but it's it's very pretty. It plays very well too. I've pl I haven't played games that play as well of it as it in a while. I think actually Heart Machines games have like a very unique way of playing. All right. God. Gosh, no. Can I? No, I just want to get the gear bit. That's all. I'm not doing the long dash. I don't want to do the very long dash. I just want to get the gear bit that is here and unlock the higher dashing stuff. No, so close. God damn it. Oh, right into the wall. I will get this gear bit. I swear. Okay, never mind. I'll come back. Oh, wait, what? Um, I don't know. I said no. Probably not. Um, because I was about to go on break now. All right, so we're going to go on break real quick because I am a little peckish and I have to use the restroom. Um, we've been playing for about two and a half hours, so we'll be back from break in like uh, 10 to 15 minutes or so. Uh, so, yeah, uh, stay tuned and we'll keep playing Hyper Light Drifter for the next uh, two and a half hours. So, yeah.
All right, and we are back. A little bit of a shorter break there, but I didn't have much I needed to do. So we're gonna go back to the east and um, get that all taken care of. I'm gonna check to see if that there's any redeems. I don't think there are any redeems. Um, so we're just gonna go back into the east and um, do some chain dashing. Because we all like chain dashing. Oh yes, there it is. Haha. You know, when I play ulti, my first thought is always Bajork, Bajork, Bajonk, Bajonk. Because that's just the vibe she has. Get out of here. I'm not gonna kill all the enemies in this area because she has like max bullets, so there's like no point. <laughs> um but no, welcome back, everybody. I hope you all had a marvelous break and that you guys had a good time. Um, we're going to keep on going. My goal this stream is to, for this part, my original goal was just to beat the, um, the challenges for our base file so that way we could 100% it. Like, um... But now it's, uh, huh. now the goal is, uh, I think we're going to aim to, uh, hmm, I think clear the east, uh, maybe the north, probably not the north, probably just the east, I think we'll have time for, it's time to, like, just clear it out, um, I don't think we'll have time to clear out the other area, like the north, but we might be able to at least, uh, we might get through it. I, I doubt it though, because we only have like two and a half hours left, so. I'm not uh, too hopeful for it, but you never know. Maybe we could get through it because we've, we've been through it already. Um, oh my god, Alti. <laughs> okay, Fido, come on. Doggy can't swim, apparently. You can't doggy paddle? It makes sense for the magician to not be able to, to swim. He's a cat. But you, you have no excuse. It's literally called the doggy paddle. Alright. Through here we go. And this, excuse me, this brings us underground. So let me move the map over to the underground area since we are coming down here. What part of the underground is this? Okay. So let me, all right. I see where we're at. Oh, we're going to end up going left because we're going on this path. <clears throat> Into the depths. Oof. Slime. Nice. All right. There's another guy down here, I bet. Oh, no. I almost punched right into the water like a fool. <laughs> Bring me the uh, moving platform. Or this way. Then we can come down here. I'm shocked Alti doesn't have another name like the Drifter does. I'm also shocked Guardian doesn't have another name. Ew. 
Hey, yo. Okay, we got that one. That's very exciting. Then we can move over this way. What if I saved up my points and used them to ban, like, gunfire in an FPS? Ah... Uh... I mean, I would have to do it. I don't know how well that would work for me, though. I don't know how well I'd do there. Hey, yo, got a key! Which means we can go back to that one area. Ha! <laughs> Beats up a mushroom. A singular mushroom. Oh, I got a med kit back. Cool, because I ran out of <laughs> like a dumbass. <laughs> um, I gotta come back this way because... Uh, there's a key that I don't have. How? Okay, I gotta remember how one... Hold on. Okay. I haven't gone through here. I thought I did. I did not. I, my bad. I right, got the third one. Click that, and we get another platform. Please, thank you. Let's go. Cross the wall. Nice. Let me in! I'm not allowed. I'm banished. Can Ulti wear different outfits? I don't know. I don't know if she can. It'd be really cute if she could. You just have like different Ulti outfits. Oh. There we go. Ulti feels like she'd be a fun character and like a, a brawler. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, like, she just seems like she'd be fun. I know that the Drifter is featured in a couple, but like, she just feels like she'd also be a fun character to play as. That's all. Uh, that, that's, that's it. I honestly think she'd probably be more fun because of her specific weapon. But... You know. Ah, damn. No, not that. There we go. I put a marker down on the map like a dumbass. Alright, now the music's all tense. Aha! Alright. I forgot about that, I'm, I'm gonna be honest. I usually forget about it, though. She's so quick! some great progress. I'm starting to get the hang of her. She's 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 becoming a little easier to use now. Cuz like she was a bit of a challenge in the beginning. Like I was I was definitely struggling to try and like figure out how to make her switch seamlessly into the gun. 
Um, but now I'm starting to like get a vibe for her abilities and her what she's capable of. And it's kind of really cool to watch myself in real time. Because I've definitely played the alt a lot less than I have the magician himself. Like I, the drifter I've, I'm a lot more proficient with than ulti. And so it's really interesting to be able to watch myself become better at playing her in like real time. That's like really cool. And then moreover to have that in recording. <laughs> That's just really neat. battle was won. And one more cell done. Gonna destroy that. Come up this way. And then we can go back up to the surface. Do you find yourself with any preference between the two of them? I definitely prefer the Drifter. Like, I just like the Magician better. I like how he plays a lot. He just, he feels very, um, easy, you know? Like, he feels like he has, like, quite a bit of a, of a guessable range, you know what I mean? Um, and while it is, like, close range and long range, it feels like he's able to keep his distance a lot more uh, capably than Alti is for some reason. Alti feels like she is, even though it looks like she's further distance, it feels like she's closer combat, which is weird to say. Um, like I could hit further. It's very clear I can hit farther. But it just, it feels like she is a lot more, um, hard to aim, hard to control. Um, she definitely has her challenge up for her, which is great to a degree. Um, but then it's a little bit more challenging, uh, when you also take into account that she has, uh, less health, which also is a bit of a bummer, um. Don't get me wrong, I'm having a blast playing her. Uh, but I definitely prefer the Magician proper, I think. I feel like this game is definitely optimized for him. Um, which is fine, it's just, it's, it's the vibe. <laughs> it's the vibe! Uh, <laughs> no! Why, why would you do that? Although they both have the same problem of accidentally jumping off of ledges. Um, they've got the, uh, the Assassin Creed issue. You don't know what that is um if you don't know what the assassin's creed issue is it's essentially where they are so like floaty that when it comes to a ledge you would expect pushback and then you don't receive pushback so they just kind of fall um and it's very easy to just like charge off a ledge there is no like safety rail um like there isn't some other games like uh dead cells for example so it's a bit problematic However, she is still really fun to play. Don't get me wrong. But I definitely do prefer the Magician. I also prefer the Magician's more like, um, he feels like he has a lot more personality than Alt does. Uh, like I like her, but she feels like she's a little bit harder to get a read on um, for one reason or another. It could be because of like her art in the menu, like, it feels like you can't read her expression because one, she she doggo. Two, she's wearing like a mask or a helmet. Oh. Whereas with the magician, he's like in an interesting pose. He has like his hand on his hip. He kind of looks and acts, looks and acts in a way that is, uh, acts in quotations, in a way that is more like, um, 
conveying of a of a personality like you can definitely interpret a personality from him whereas for her it's a little harder so story-wise as well um she she definitely feels like that a bonus character like where there's some like itty bitty story changes but not by much you know it's all like and then you have to ask the, the question of canonicity like how canon is this how canon is this not it's suggested that this is technically the canon, but um, we don't know. We won't know until Breaker, because if Judgment's a boss in Breaker, which he might be, we don't know. We've only seen a couple bosses, and some of them look a little familiar. And we are supposed to be able to come to this area, so we'll definitely be able to see if the Immortal Cell is active. Um, but if... Uh, Judgment is a boss in Breaker. Then uh, we know that the ulti timeline is the one that is uh, accurate and true. However, <laughs> nice. That was a little challenging. Um, this one, uh, ulti, I will also additionally say, uh, feels like you have to be more aggressive with her. Like you can't just like dodge around like you can with Magi because you don't have as much leeway. So you have to like take them out as fast as possible. She gives this like vibe of like, I have to destroy everything right here, right now, or else it's not gonna pan out for me. That's the kind of like energy she gives, which is, is good and bad. Um, however, with the uh, comparison with the Drifter though, um, she definitely has this like, energy this uh vibe that is like a lot more impersonal like she is she's not struggling from the disease like magi is so she doesn't have um really a stake in this and you can tell she gives the same vibes as like a bounty hunter and that's not a bad thing it's just a lot harder to read like she has um bounty hunter vibes like she's doing this because uh someone asked her to and we know that she lives with guardian so there's like a lot of theories about we know that her the magician guardian technically all live together so it's very possible that the plot of this is hey the drifter went missing magi went missing help me solve this problem because i don't know where he went and this needs to be solved and she went all right got it um because we know where she is in the in the main campaign we know where she's at uh so it's not like she doesn't exist they all exist in the same world. It's not like she's just like a shoe in for the magician. Although, and here's another thing too. Um, the tutorial in of itself gives a lot of like plot to the magician. Um, like you learn a lot about him, his personality and kind of like how he's going about his life from the tutorial level. Cause you, you wake up, if you're paying attention, you see that he's, um, you know, uh washed up ashore you learn that essentially if you pay attention to context clues you learn that he's um you know a drifter like that's how you learn that he is a drifter he came to this land he is not native to this land he came here uh to find something and you don't know what he was looking for but he came here he could have been looking for a better life he could have been it doesn't matter but that's when you find out everything there is to know about him and you learn so much more, and even though it's not a lot, because it's not like you know what his life was before he came to land of the the uh, the country that he's in now. Um, so even though like you don't know what his life was before, you don't know anything about his parents, you don't know anything about where he came from. Now we know where he came from. He came from the north northern countries probably because he's a blue. And that's where they're from. That's where they tend to, to come from. But, like, we didn't know that when the game came out. Like, a lot of Magi's information is post... Post... Postpartum, you know?
It's all stuff that came at like way after the fact. And, um, but even so, like we know way more about Maggie than we do Ulti. And I think that's a damn shame because I really want to know about her like story. I want to know about her species. What is she? Um, I want to learn more about her. Right now, it just kind of feels like in the plot that the, her only thing is that she's doing this because Maggie isn't here to do it. Um, and because, you know, maybe she's looking for Maggie. Maybe she's helping Guardian. Maybe she's... Who knows? Why does she live with Guardian? Like, it, that was confirmed that they're all roommates. They all live together. What is their relationship? Why did Guardian take in Alti? Why is Alti, is it Alti in Guardian's apartment? Did they originally like sign the lease together or did Guardian take her in? Like, I'm assuming that it's Guardian's apartment and Alti and Maggie are just living there considering the fact that he didn't feel the need to ask her first before bringing a random guy into their house. So it's like, I don't know. It's really weird. I, 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 I'm unsure about her and I think that's also part of the reason why I have a preference for Maggie. Like I he just feels more open to me and more easy to understand. Um than she is. And again, there's nothing wrong with that. I love a mysterious character. But the fact that the character that was meant to be mysterious is less mysterious than her. A bit of a a bit of a flag, you know? It says a lot about somebody you know um and that's a bit unfortunate but that's that's just me all right we're going to go this way so yeah, that's kind of my feelings on it um on ulti as a whole now again i i love her as a character don't get me wrong it just i feel like i have a preference for magic because of how he plays even though he's slower he just feels like he's more predictable than her um but also uh he feels like less hard to control i guess that you could say um Weird statement, I know, because technically sh they, they have the same control scheme. But, like, you know, it's just... It's hard to, like, put into words. Although I'm liking that she can attack shit. Oh, damn. I fell. I like that she can attack shit remotely and then not have to worry about it. Um... Imagine reactivating the cell for bonus boss fight. Uh, that would be interesting. Uh, but what I can say about this is that uh, it when the magician, because we've beaten the the magician playthrough, uh, when the magician beats, um, because obviously it's like who beats judgment is essentially the difference. Because like judgment's obviously the final boss. So is it Alti that beats judgment or is it Magi that beats judgment? And that's kind of the question of the fandom. And a lot of people want to say it's Magi because like that's that's a happier ending. Everybody kind of like he dies in peace. Guardian's death wasn't in vain. Alti uh, like is happy and has a new apartment essentially all to herself you know and that's kind of like what everybody wants um i don't know if guardian dies in the ulti playthrough uh so that's a bit of an unknown to me uh she might or she might not you know Like, she might die in this playthrough. Like, uh, he might die in this playthrough, or he might not. Um, but what I can say is that, uh, because you guys have kind of seen how this goes, how this plot goes, I'm sure you can figure it out. Alti isn't sick with the disease. It's very clear because when she follows the jackal, when she, you know, uh, 
deactivates the cell, like the cell, she doesn't um, face off with judgment, she doesn't see judgment, she doesn't have the hallucinations, and while she sees the jackal, it's more likely that she's just gifted and able to see the jackal, and that's it. It's not that she has, like, some um, disease or anything, like uh, Magi or Guardian, she just can see the jackal probably because she is a jackal so a lot of people have called her the priestess because of that because it's possible that the jackal is meant to be a representation of death itself and because jackal anubis that whole thing um anubis the god of death one of the most iconic gods of death other than the grim reaper um and or thanatos i guess would technically be Reaper, but um in that regard a lot of people have been like oh she's a high priestess because technically she can you know see a god and is, is working a god's will because anubis is like oh destroy the cell and and leads her to guardian when he's around and that's kind of like interesting because she doesn't have the disease like she's not sick with the disease like magi and guardian are which is why they see the jackal she doesn't have the disease she just sees the jackal she doesn't have hallucinations of judgment who's it's suggested is causing the disease um she doesn't struggle with that she's doing this not because it affects her she's doing this because i'm guessing guardian asked her to or i'm guessing because of whatever happened to magi which is he's probably dead and um and that's really interesting because like there's so much to be said about her character in that regard but it just uh, works to reinforce the whole like bounty vibe she's got going like it, it does the same thing it, like reaffirms the fact that she's not doing this necessarily for any other reason than you know she's asking she's not doing this out of the kindness of like not out of her desire and i don't know if that's because like she just doesn't see the purpose of it or if she just doesn't know the impact that judgment has because it's suggested that um judgment is a robot of some kind like that's the what's insinuated is that he's some robot or some ai that lost control gained a lot of power inflicted a disease corrupted the um the titan like creatures the i guess they would be i don't know titans really um operated like a virus oh shit but um in the beginning of hyper light drifter main game uh you see those titans rise out of the the ground uh and the drifter goes to fight them and it's likely that the reason why they attacking because he just kind of watched them fall is because of judgment so it's suggested that um the blue skins made the um or even like the people that the blue skins were fighting maybe this was ancient technology that the blue skins repurposed um hence why magi was on the offensive there's a lot of theories but that's the point like there's more theories for his backstory than there is for hers and it's like why 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 didn't why isn't there more information about her and i think that's kind of where it, it begins to take a turn you know because like i can list out everything that kind of details a backstory for the magician uh just because i played this game enough times that I, and i've begun to piece together like the lore aspects of it so like the first thing you see when you boot up the game is uh when you start a new file uh that isn't an alt file you see um the drifter essentially in a war he's surrounded by dead bodies 
Um, he is like moved by something. He is in danger. And there I go. I fell. Um, although what's interesting is that when she dies, there's like a howl noise. So that's fascinating. But uh, the first thing you boot up the game to when you're playing as the drifter and not as alt, because obviously you guys just saw what happened. Nothing. She wakes up in the bed as if she she died. Um, so the first thing that happens is that you see these like big titan creatures and after seeing like essentially um uh, a sea of blood th there's like a couple of key i don't remember exactly the order of the intro because the intro just gets me every time so i'm too busy being focused on like the individual images that i don't like patch them together into one big thing oh god oh fuck that was a glitch that glitched the fuck out anyway um so you see a sea of bodies and it, uh, it's blue at first and then it turns into red um that's the first thing you see and then you see all these bodies just kind of pop up and they glitch in and out and in and out uh which suggests that maybe the magician was part of some war maybe he was he saw like maybe he was part of the war maybe he was um he had uh, like family who was a victim of the war and we we see later reference to this war um it's believed that the species that they ended up fighting the it was a war between the blue skins of the north and most likely um the enemies that we see in both the or the people that we see in the east and the west so um they look kind of similar to Veruki almost. Um, but yeah, they're kind of at odds with each other and they're fighting. So it, it's likely that either he saw the bloodshed of this war and didn't agree with it. Or um, he is, had victims in this war. Maybe he stumbled onto the battlefield. It suggested that he might have been a soldier, though, because a, a giant gash ends up forming on his stomach and he collapses and starts throwing up and all that good shit. Um, and then, you know, you also see the image of these golem like creatures, these giant, like, um, giants. They emerge out of the abyss in front of him they're like robotic in nature they're mechanical you see them in um the uh west uh judging by now at first when i saw those i thought oh you know maybe they were an a, a machine of the enemy but then they end up attacking the enemy so that wouldn't make sense so it's more likely that um instead of it being like a weapon of the enemy it was um uh so both sides it was probably ancient technology that either both sides managed to harness or try to harness and that it backfired or the blues managed to try and harness and that it backfired which is possibly where the same civilization made that as like uh, the drifter tech that they use, which is like the dashes, the HUDs. Um, I'm going to assume that it's probably synonymous with Solar Ash's void tech. Uh, and then like he gets infect, uh, infected with a, a disease, uh, learns that it was caused by uh, a super machine from the other side, which is judgment. So yeah, there's a lot more plot going on for Maggie's story than there is for alts. Like, why is she doing this? Oh! God! Oh! 
Oh shit. Damn. A little bit, little bit trickier when it gets to bosses. But no, I hope I answered your question more than I ever could, chat new this. I could literally make a whole lore video about Hyperlite. Fuck! It sucks because I feel like she dashes really slow. Like she goes into her dash really sluggishly. It's weird. Like, I dashed, and it just didn't register. I tried to dash past him and it didn't work. feels so huge too oh my goodness i can't tell if that's just me or if her hitbox is genuinely really big Did you see that the bugs like launched him a little bit? That was really funny. Whew. That was a bit of a challenge. But we got it. We got him. Alright, I gotta come on. Let me let me scroll. Please. Please, map, you are so slow. Yeah. Yeah. All right. I want to clear off these three. Thank you. And now we can move on. And there we are.
Oh, uh, we got the bag on. All right, come through here. Chattanoobus fell asleep. Oh, God. Let's not. Hey, yo. Now we got that all done. Um. Oh, you just woke up. Cool. <laughs> he was asleep. Now he just woke up. Then we come, I guess, come back around? Okay, but like, you totally missed my entire ramble. And now I'm sad. I was rambling about lore and you, you ignored it. How dare you? Yeah, 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 yeah. And I rambled about it for like an hour, so of course you remember some of it. But then you fell asleep halfway through, you little brat. A little jerk. Stinky. You missed me beating the first boss. <laughs> An absolute stinker. Uh, it's not this one I have to go through. This is incorrect. Now, yeah, you passed out. Like, you totally fell asleep there. Like, you were conked. It's kind of funny. Fucking Nord. This guy falls asleep. On the cow. No! The bad gun! No! Not the bad gun. Nobody likes the shitty gun. Nobody likes that particular gun. It's a bad, bad gun. Alright, well, it's fine. <laughs> All right, open this up. So now I got this key. Let me in. Why, hello, Dusk Flame. Eat salt, yes. Um, okay, hold on. Yeah, you, you use points. Oh, somehow it did not. What do you mean? <laughs> All right, thank welcome, Dusk Flame. Welcome to the stream. Um, we are playing Hyperlight Drifter, and you, you Chattanoobus, asked me to eat salt, so thank you. So I shall eat salt. Salt tea time. Mmm, <laughs> salt. Alright. Also, if you, um... 
unlock an emote using the um the points i'm pretty sure it only unlocks during the one stream so that is a note um so yeah that might be why your uh redeem was not working All right. <gasps> oh shit. <laughs> oh damn. I just did it. I'm pretty sure it's buggy Twitch because it also doesn't show. I spent the points for that or the salt. Oh, it might just be Twitch being buggy. Twitch does that sometimes. Sometimes that just bugs out. Um, sometimes it's the connection. So maybe make sure your Wi-Fi is set up properly. That was a yikes. All right, we're going to keep trying. All righty. dead I thought I hit him I did not hit him ah <laughs> uh, I don't have a one ten percent alt save thanks alt point oh oh that yeah I'll start that at the probably at the beginning of next month because we already did one for this month and I, I want to try and do one that is like a monthly point thing. So I'll make that, um... I'll make that, uh... Oh, I'll make that, uh, next month's point goal. Don't worry. Yeah, like the raffle, which you, th that's going to start next month. So for anyone curious about the raffle, that's, that's starting on the first. <gasps> no, ulti! Oh, ulti. <laughs> Oh, I'll see. <laughs> I heard Chattanooga's laughing over there. Hey, yo. Oh my gosh, you can see her little doggo snoot. That's so cute. <laughs> okay. You know what? I like Alti significantly more because now she can wear outfits. Oh my gosh, I'm dressing her up in costumes. I'm dressing the doggo. I'm putting her in Halloween costumes. Oh, 
Alti buys her clothes at PetSmart. Oh. Bitch. I'm about to give her the HP one, no question. It, and it, it dropped me here. Um, is there anywhere else that I haven't fully explored yet? There are a couple places, but I don't know if I can reach them at this point in time. Um... I'll get into that one. Oh, okay, I haven't gotten through that area yet. Okay. That explains a lot. So I haven't gone through that that space yet. And I can do that now. Alright. The gold blue weapon is the one you want. Yeah. Okay. Got it. That's ochre, by the by. That's what it's called. It's called the ochre outfit. Get it right. Gosh, it's almost as if you've never played Hyperlight Drifter. Mm. <laughs> I'm joking, I know you've never played, but that's not the point. Alright. Oh my gosh, I'll see. I didn't know who you knew about the fancy person color name. I do, and it's not a fancy person color name. It's just the color name. It's just the name of it. Ochre is just our color. Look up what ochre looks like and you'll understand. Alti, no! Yay! We did it. Totally first try. I didn't get hit. No, I didn't get hit. Not at all. Nope. No getting hit here. <laughs> where am I? I don't even know where I am. Oh, I know where I am now. Alright, clear that out. I can't go down there. That's fucking rude. How do I get over there then? I hear it going off. like I I know I can get it <laughs> hmm where is the last module this one here okay there's the one there did I get the one? Ah. I 
I see. Okay. Um, that's easy enough. Gotta come back here. Yeah, there is a mobile version of Hyperlight. There is, in fact, a mobile version of Hyperlight Drifter. Yeah, it gives you two on that platform because of the fact that um, mobile's hard. Because <laughs> it's pretty much the same exact game. Um, with all the challenges and everything. But no, the game is, in fact, on mobile. I would not recommend playing on mobile, though. <laughs> I'm about to do that twice. All right, come through here, come up this way. And then apparently The last one is over in yonder direction. Hmm, I gotta figure out how to get there, but I think I might. Nope, incorrect. You overshot that. Hmm. Hmm. A conundrum. Is this it? No. Alti just casually dying. How about this way? Is this it? Yes, no, maybe so. Anything over here? No. Where is this entrance to the underground? It's around here. Up this way? There's the head. Hmm. I'm a bit stumped because there's the entrance. Hmm. I feel like I need the specialty gun. So, hmm. Let's try. Hmm. I think I might have an idea, because maybe if that's not the entrance, then this is. Aha. There it is. Alright, found it. Um, Want to hear Alti's little description from when she was a Kickstarter backer exclusive? Sure. I wouldn't mind hearing her Kickstarter description. 
It's really funny that now she's just like part of the deluxe edition. Which makes sense. They announced that that was going to be the case. I like that her hits go through opponents. That makes things a lot easier. Nice! I went through that without taking any damage because it really wasn't that bad. And there's the last guy. Hell yeah! Uh, receive a Kickstarter only alternative main playable character to destroy and explore with. Uh, you might have a variant weapon, glowing eyes, and sinister intention. Kickstarter reward description. <laughs> uh, did you see her little swoosh for no damage? Actually, she just does that when she, um, wins. It's like her version of the drifter stabbing his sword into the ground. If you weren't asleep, you would have seen it. Mm. Yeah, it's it's her gloating. It's her like triumphant pose, essentially. Really cute, but also uh ulti, it's a lot less cool than than drifters, I'm sorry. <laughs> Alright, um, so, we went through that, which means we can go back to that area, which we can reach through, um, going up through here. So I have to come back down. through this way I guess and that would just knock me out okay did I get all the I don't think I did because I think I need the chain dash to get the one so I can at least get that one now um but there's still one that I need the shotgun to get, like the sniper rifle. And I might, yes, this has the chain dash area. Alti! <laughs> oh, I'm not gonna make it out of this one, am I? Oh boy. This game can be scuffed sometimes, don't worry about it. suddenly so many holy shit oh 
All right, I got that gear bit. And you know what I'm gonna do so I don't have to fuck around in that area again? I'm just gonna casually teleport back <laughs> to heal. <laughs> and then go through that again. Because I'd rather just do it a second time than go back and then risk ulti dying and me having to do that again because I got really lucky at that point. Like there, there was no way I was gonna be able to do that again. Um. <laughs> Dang, what the dog doing? <laughs> really though, that's the fucking vibe for ulti. It's quite literally just the equivalent of what the dog doing? All right, so I went through that. Um, I gotta remember how to get back up there. Um, okay. I remember now. Okay, so let's uh come up this way. And come in here. Go through that. She's so quick. It's a shame I took damage considering that I know she can actually like just destroy those guys before they can get an attack in. So it's, it's a damn shame. Okay, and now we can come up yonder ways. Let me in. This is not going to go well, is it? I feel... Speed dog. Yeah. Oh, no. <gasps> Bitch! That was cheap. Hell yeah! There's fire there, and I didn't see it. Cause I'm a dumb bitch. <gasps> no, Alti! Oh, Alti! Oh boy. How did she? I don't know. I don't. <laughs> I don't know anymore. <laughs> I love my crap. Yeah, really. She just. I don't know what's up with Alti. She is a mess. <laughs> Come on, please load map. Mr. Map. I would like to go see you, Mr. Map. Please. 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 Thank you. Let me scroll. Mr. Map! Mr. Map! She, uh, she is a little bit, it feels like, but also it just feels like she gets caught on everything. Like, it feels like her hitbox is fucking massive. Because, like, the Drifter, she, she gets caught on shit, and she just doesn't move, so I wonder if that's, like, an additional, uh, thing that she has like additional debuff but she does attack a lot faster than the drifter does which makes me scared for the concept of her with the speed coat on because i'm sure she'd be able to take out almost anything in this game with that thing on <gasps> ulti Bro, that ain't even funny. B 
bitch. I'm gonna try. Oh, that's a whole different thing. I'm gonna see if I can. Yes, another med kit. Okay, cool. Hey, yo. Gear bit. Ulti, you bitch. Literally. <laughs> Oh boy. Ho ho ho. There's going to be enemies on the way back out, by the way. Just a warning. <gasps> Another gun. Oh my gosh, get the shit out of here. Much better. Run. Run! Okay, we've escaped. <laughs> um, and I think that's almost everything in the east that we can get. I think that is everything in the east that we can get right now. Um, because we just don't have the rest of the materials. I don't think, because we need keys and a specific gun. So, I think we're safe to move back to... Central town. Oh boy. That's the south. We don't want to go there. <laughs> I will say though, the Hyperlight Drifter map is a little difficult to read if you're not used to it. Um, so that's worth noting. I feel like we've gotten a lot done today in this stream. Like, it feels like we did a lot today. Uh, but I will probably push on. Um, after we buy out the shops because yeah I'm gonna buy the deflection hello uh cause deflection very good um and then I'm gonna go buy the additional med kits I think that would be smart too 
Ooh, bombs! Yes! Never mind. Fuck med kits. We're going bombs. <laughs> Who needs med kits when you got bombs? <laughs> oh, I think I'm funny. I am I did not mean to go into the building. Huh? So she went into a room, unaware of the monsters in there. Uh, the monsters attacked her, and Guardian stepped in to save the day, and left them there to come back. Is Guardian in the house? Sometimes he shows up in the house. Like, you can just see him in there. Oh, he's not in there right now. Yeah. Sometimes he'll just, like, come in and he'll sit there. He'll be there. But it's kind of cool. Come home to him. Yeah. He's not there right now. I've never gotten him to spawn in the house. It's very sad. I really want to get him to spawn in the house at some point. Oh, Lord IT. I think I'm actually going to call it. I think that would be smart. Because this feels like a good place to stop. Uh, we got a lot done today, and it just feels like a good place to start. I know I could continue, but it just, it feels right to end here and leave everything else for next stream. Um, so I was going to continue. It just doesn't feel right, you know? It just feels like there's, I don't know. It just kind of, I just was going to say I clipped something. What'd you clip? <laughs> What'd you clip? I guess I'll see it when I'm done, but anyway, uh, we're going to wrap up stream now. Uh, I know it's like an hour early, but it just, it feels like a good place to stop here. And so I would prefer to end stream early than have to end stream, uh, have end stream early on a satisfying note than end stream late on a note that doesn't feel as satisfying. You know what I mean? Um, I'd rather do the prior than the latter in every way. So I'm going to end stream now, I think. I don't know who's streaming right now. Um, let's see. Vincent's live. Oh, and so is Draconic. I think we'll send you guys over to Draconic. Um, cause he's, he's cool. And I am doing a collab with him, um, next week. So it would be smart to send y'all over to him i think um so yeah thank you guys so much for coming to today's stream i am sorry that it's ending early it just it, it feels right to end it early you know um instead of letting it run over um you know what i mean so i'm gonna end it a bit sooner uh if you want to see more hyperlight drifter i'm going to be playing it again next week um and the week after uh because it's a good game um so if that's up your alley then check in next week where we will probably finish off alts um playthrough maybe hopefully hopefully i won't get caught up on judgment it's very possible i'll get caught up on judgment but um fingers crossed that I don't so yeah uh tomorrow uh, I believe it's Saturday so we're starting Hollow Knight uh finally final fucking Lee we're starting Hollow Knight tomorrow so if that's something you're interested in please 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 come join us over there it's gonna be a great time we're gonna have a fun time I'm gonna make a bunch of bug puns um sorry for the kind of like lower energy of today's stream like I said before I had an anxiety attack at the beginning of the stream because a bug it was literally just a bug, and it's a type of bug that I am just, like, not cool with. I have very few fears in this world. Um, one of them is the ocean with my philosophobia, and the second one is this specific type of bug. Um, if it looks similar to a silverfish, it triggers my fight or flight, because I have silverfish trauma. Don't ask. One day I'll tell you all. Um, and, yeah, it, it sounds like a stupid story, but it's, it's genuine fear, so... You know, it just be that way sometimes. Um, 
But thank you guys so much for understanding and being uh, patient with me. I appreciate it so much. And on that note, please take care of yourselves and each other, my Shopties. I am so excited. Oh, whoops. Um, you have all the bugs trauma? Yeah, it's unfortunate. Uh, <laughs> it's very unfortunate. Um, but I am going to send you guys over to Draconic. Please take care of yourselves and each other, my Shopties. Um... And go show Draconic a lot of love. He's coming to the Goose Goose Duck collaboration, which is going to be on the 25th at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Uh, no, 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. My bad. So if that's something you're interested in, please come. There's going to be a lot of VTubers there, and it's going to be a great time. So yeah. Uh, see you guys tomorrow. And send up tea.